Hello everybody, this is Dr. Sandeep Jagani. Today we are going to see how can we find fractional defective units on an X-bar chart. That is, if an X-bar chart is given to you and the specification limits are given to you, what is the proportion of the units that will fall outside the upper specification limit and below the lower specification limit? We will solve this dilemma by directly using an example. Let us consider the diameter of a stainless steel road is an important um, quality characteristic. Road has specifications of uh, 1.5 plus or minus 0.8 inches. Data from the process indicates that the distribution is normally distributed and X bar and R charts indicate that the process is stable. Control charts use sample size of 4 and found X double bar equal to 1.4983 and R bar equal to 0 0.0906 what fraction of steel roads will fall outside the specification limits we will use a number line the center of the number line is 1.5 the lower specification limit is 1.42 and the upper specification limit is 1.58 we also know that x double bar is the process mean X double bar which is 1.4983 will be right somewhere nearby which is not to the scale but somewhere somewhere where the red line is and then we can draw a normal distribution curve with a mean of uh, 1.4983 uh, but we do not know the standard deviation here however we know that we can we have to calculate the area under the uh, under the uh, tail which is uh, beyond or below the lower specification limit and above the upper specification limit. So the shaded region is what we need to find out. This can be easily calculated using the Excel if we knew what is sigma, sigma which, which is a standard deviation of this particular normal distribution curve where well, sigma hat or you can say that it is uh, the point estimate can be given by r bar by d2 well d2 can be found from a table and r bar is something which is given to us which is equal to 0 0.0906 divided by d2 and I'll let you know very soon how to find this d2 so if you go to the page number 495 appendix J of uh, the Six Sigma Green Belt Handbook uh, you will see the constants for the control chart we need to see what is D2 associated to the subgroup size or the sample size 4 in this case the D2 for sample size 4 is 2.059 so we will insert D2 as uh, uh, 2.059 and the result is 0 0.044 now it is easy for us to calculate the tail both the tails um, or the shaded region of the tails because we are we know the mean of this normal distribution curve and we know the standard deviation of this normal distribution curve uh, using the Excel formula we can we can calculate the me uh, we, we can calculate the left hand side tail as norm dot dist your x bar oh sorry not x bar but x x equal to 1.42 which is this and mean mean is equal to 1.4983 then you have standard deviation which is 0 0.044 and whether cumulative or not cumulative yes it is cumulative so one and therefore you get this as 0 0.037575 same way you can calculate the area under the curve on the right hand side from this uh, upper specification limit uh, remember that has to be 1 minus norm 
dot dist and in the parenthesis you have uh, x which is 1.58 then you have uh, mu mu will be same 1.4983 standard deviation will be same and then the cumulative part 1 so your total fraction so this will be equal to 0 0.031669 your total defectives will be the sum of sum of this number as well as this number that will be equal to proportion defectives defectives will be equal to the sum of uh, the two numbers will be equal to 0 0.06944 69244 um, or or you can tell that it is uh, six point nine two percentage of products are um, are outside the lower and upper specification limits when the excel spreadsheet is not available and say you need to find the uh, shaded regions or the probability of uh, or the proportion of the defective units on both the sides of this uh, normal distribution curve uh, you can use a z-table and in the next slide I'll show you how to use z-table to calculate the shaded region. Now we are going to use a z-table to calculate the shaded region. Uh, on the mean the z-score is 0. On the left hand side of the mean the z-score is minus z and the right hand side of the mean the z score is plus z so th to calculate z we have a formula z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma where x is a point uh, from where we want to calculate the z score so for us here x is equal to 1.42 because at the point 1.42 we want to calculate the z score minus the mu of this normal distribution or the mean of this normal distribution which is 1.4983 and you divide it by the sigma in our case sigma or sigma hat for our case is sigma hat equal to 0.044 so we will use that number 0.044 and we get this as uh, 1.77 the Z score here obtained is a negative number because this number is greater so we have to have a negative number here that means it is minus the Z equal to minus 1.7795 so let us find the area under the shaded region um, for the Z 1.7795 using a uh, Z table which is on the appendix K of your Six Sigma Green Belt Handbook on page 496. If you see uh, there are the Z score given on the first column and then any decimal values you have to look through on the uh, as you go towards the right from the left. If you look on this normal distribution, you can find out the area under the shaded region from any z values. But this is for the shaded region from a z value on the right hand side of this uh, z value. But in our case, what we want is the shaded region on the left hand side of here. But since we have a negative number here, and we know that the normal distribution is identical on both the sides, what we can do is instead of finding here from a negative 1.7795 we can use a positive 1.7795 and calculate this area because both the sides of the normal distribution curve will be identical for, for that uh, z value alright this stretches to page number 497 
1.78 is 0 0.7 0 0.0375789 so we'll write that down so p1 or the proportion de facto on this side will be equal to 0 0.037538 same way we can calculate the proportion defecting on de defective on this side using z score equal to x minus mu divided by sigma in this case our x is equal to 1.58 which is usl and then minus the mean mean remains same 1.4983 divide by sigma sigma here is 0 0.044 and you get this as 1.8568 using the z table we have to calculate p2 now here this is easy because now we want to calculate the area on the right hand side from the z score so we have to use the value without flipping and anyway we have a positive value previously our z score was negative now we have a positive value so we have to use directly 1.86 so that is 0 0.031443 so the total area will be the sum of this number plus the sum of this number which is equal to p or the proportion defectives which is 0 0.06 8 9 or 9 8 or in other words we can say that 6.9 percent second time when we calculated we did not use the excel but we used a normal distribution table and we can see that the proportion are almost the same i hope i made it clear how we can calculate the defect proportional defectives if we are given an x bar chart in case you have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to reach out uh, using the contact uh, information that is currently on your screen also alternatively you can put a comment on the comment box below this video thank you